Arlington Mayor Mary Ann Mead Ward joins us this morning for her weekly update on the city. Morning, Bob. Always good to see you. Good to see you too, Mayor of Burlington. Now with Wi-Fi yes. at Spencer Smith now Park. Now with Wi-Fi, yes, you can come and uh, you know work outside and free Wi-Fi. It's awesome. Well, that's a great idea. You can spend uh, extra time in that beautiful spot. Hey, I wanted to ask you, too, because I was out boating uh, with some friends um, last weekend, and they were talking about how beautiful the view is, going by Burlington, seeing, you know, the pier and Spencer Smith Park and everything. And there are tie-ups there, but they were asking if there's any plans to expand that because more boaters could come in, get out, shop. People could come down, check out the boats. Any thoughts on that? Uh well, Mother Nature is my thought. <laughs> so uh, it is a very exposed area for wave action, and if you've ever if you've ever seen it during inclement weather, those waves can go six, seven feet when they crash into the yeah. the break wall. And people may know uh, it was before my time, but I've certainly seen the pictures that where those folks are walking in that picture right now, that used to be uh, an inlet. All the park at Spencer Smith used to be. Uh, open water for boating and it became a cesspool it it, it became uh, and it didn't really work all that well because of the location of the water and the wave action and so the city uh, 30 years ago 40 years ago a long time ago decided to fill it in and that's why we even have the park there right so what we've seen people do in better weather is they drop anchor and get a little dinghy or something right. and there is the little sand beach there are also areas and ladders right along the break wall where people can uh, pull up and, and get out. So uh, there, there are ways to access, uh, you know, bring your boat and access land at, at that area, but there's no feasibility to do a marina. The, the city actually had one and took it out okay. many, many moons ago. Well, I'll pass that along. Then. The mayor says it's a horrible idea. <laughs> <laughs> Blame Mother Nature. <laughs> yes, not my yeah. fault. <laughs> I know. <Wave>. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, I want to get to uh, our top story this morning. We're talking a more, about more hate crimes and vandal, vandalism that's going on. The temperature change right now, uh, this is throughout the uh, entire Golden Horseshoe and the most latest incident with uh, St. Catherine's Mayor Walter Zenzik uh, getting his uh, car vandalized. But you're not immune to this as well. We talked about it last week and you had protesters uh, invading uh, or violating mm -hmm. your personal space. Uh, what are your thoughts on what can be done here? Well, it's absolutely appalling. And it, uh, you know, in, in some respects, I have no words for the hatefulness, the, the, uh, it's immature, it's ineffective, it is a crime to vandalize. And look, the mayor's family didn't run for office. Leave, us, leave my family alone, leave Walter's family alone. Uh, if you have an issue with a government policy, I've said it before, go to City Hall, go to Queen's Park, go to Parliament Hill. It, you know, I don't come to your house and talk to you about the policies we're imposing. We do that at our workspace. So respect the space, respect yourself enough to put together a decent argument in a respectful way in a democracy to make your point. Uh, because when I see the kind of vandalism and abuse and, and vulgarity that is being thrown at people and the hospital workers are part of this, which is appalling, Mm -hmm. uh, I, that says to me that the folks out there who hold those views don't respect their own views enough yeah. to express them in an appropriate, peaceful, cogent, well-argumented way in a democracy. So, uh, so respect yourself more than the kind of behavior that we're seeing. And I can tell you that the, uh, the Halton mayors will be, uh, and regional councillors uh, later today, this is your scoop, will be putting out a statement uh, urging the province and the federal government to enact safe zones around hospitals. And, uh, you know, maybe we need to extend that to the, uh, to the private residences of community leaders who serve us. And that's more than just elected officials, of course, but we're the targets at the moment. But that doesn't mean we're going to be the only targets. I don't want hospital CEOs or police captains or any of those, anybody in this community to be targeted at their, their home. Thanks for the heads up on that. We'll uh, get it on chch.com and tonight on the evening news at 6. Seconds left, but uh, we'll just quickly mention there is a public meeting this morning on the uh, Nelson Aggregates uh, quarry issue. So we'll link up uh, the Burlington website so people can get more information on this morning's meeting. And we'll meet again next awesome. week. Okay. Awesome. Good. Thanks, Bob.